Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy Shiloh. Welcome back with another video. And today, man, we got a mock draft prediction for the Madden sets. You know, I get to talk about some football, get to do some Madden content at the same time. Best of both worlds. I really do like talking about football, <clears throat> but I don't really have the chance to. But EA came in clutch with this addition. Now, I know it's kind of already spoiled for what I think are going to be the picks, but I still have some of the vouchers I need to do. I finished the solos, but for the first nine picks, I already have it in my item binder. Let's get right into this. If you guys are new to the channel, consider leaving a subscribe or a subscription, whatever you want to say. You can subscribe, unsubscribe at any time. But let's just get into this, man. First pick, we got the Jacksonville Jaguars, and I do believe they will be taking an edge rusher. <clears throat> Now, I like these sets because you don't have to predict what player, only what position. So I think that makes it a little easier as I just dropped my phone because I'm looking at my phone to see the draft order. Um, you know, Jacksonville, they do have Trevor Lawrence who they want to build around. So I definitely think this pick is either an O-lineman or an edge rusher. I can say that for certain. But, however, um, they get Brandon Sheriff in the offseason. And I think, I'm sure they've made other moves too. Smaller, minor moves I haven't seen because I'm not a Jaguars fan. <clears throat> I'm sorry I keep doing this, but I, I need to drink some water. So I think they take a star in Aiden Hutchinson, maybe Trayvon Walker, maybe Kayvon T, whatever his last name is. Can't say that. That's what I think for the first pick. Number two, we got Detroit. And I also think they take a rusher. You know, they drafted Panay Suwu, or so I can't say his name either. But you guys know what I'm talking about. He was the Oregon lineman from last year. Very good lineman. Uh, solid pick that, for them. And uh, I don't know. I don't see them taking another lineman. Plus, they don't have any. They don't have a quarterback to build around. So, to me, it makes sense. If you don't have a quarterback to build around, you try to go for a nice defense, some nice playmakers. They do have DeAndre Swift, who has a lot of potential, so they can always get a line for him. But personally... <clears throat> I see them taking Trayvon Walker here, and uh, yeah, third pick, the New York, wait, no, that's the Houston Texans taking the third pick, and I said O-line, thinking about it now, I really, I'm not sure about this one, because, but at the same time, the Houston Texans are rebuilding, so, I mean, it's no secret that they're really rebuilding, they have no talent on the offense besides Brandon Cooks. And David Johnson, who is injured every single week. Uh, you know, I, it's safe to say David Johnson has passed his, his days, you know. So, you know, I would definitely say an O-lineman is the safest pick for Houston here. I really don't. I mean, this is the safest pick. I don't, it's, I don't know, dude. Like, they already have Brennan Cooks at receiver, so I'm not sure for this one. But, hey, the Texans are just a weird team, man. Sorry if you're a Texans fan. I've never met a Texans fan in my life, but... You got cool colors, all right? Number four, New York Jets. You know, they got Elijah Moore um, and Zach Wilson. They have a little bit of talent on that offense, and Zach Wilson is their franchise quarterback. That's what they believe. That's what they chose. They chose him, like, number two overall last year. So it only makes sense they take a lineman to help him out because I think Zach Wilson, he's definitely not the best quarterback, but, you know, he hasn't been given a fair shot yet. So after this year, you know, draft him an O-line, get him a receiver or two, and then we'll, we'll see what we can do, man. Uh, but hey, number five, I kind of struggled with this one. I feel like you could exchange number five and number seven only because both of them are the Giants. So number five, I say they have they take a receiver. That could be Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, um, who else? Jameson Williams, all Ohio State guys. All right, Jameson Williams. Play it on Ohio State, and then he transferred to Alabama. Hey, what can I say? Ohio State, st stand up right now. All right? So, to be honest, if you guys haven't made your picks yet, if I could go back in time, I would make the fifth pick D uh, defensive back, a.k.a. Sauce Gardner, and then the seventh pick, a receiver. So, because if you're the Giants, you're getting Sauce Gardner and a, a nice receiver, bro. The Giants might be able to go crazy this year, all right? So... That's my thoughts on the fifth and the seventh pick. I think receiver and DB are definitely the positions, but they're interchangeable. But anyway, sixth overall, we got Carolina. Now, if Carolina isn't taking a quarterback, I really don't know what they're doing. 
I guess technically there could be a trade because it doesn't say it is Carolina's pick. It's a sixth overall pick. So you never know. It could be something different, but it's it's just Sam Darnold is not the guy. I, I say they take Malik Willis, who I'd be a little jealous of because I really want Malik Willis. Maybe they take Kenny Pickett. I don't know. But I definitely think they take a quarterback here. We already kind of talked about this pick. Eighth overall, it's Atlanta. If they don't, I, I'm I'm so sure about this pick. If they don't pick a receiver, they're very stupid. And uh, yeah, ninth overall, we got the Seahawks. Now here is where it gets interesting because I think it it may be uh, you know, the sixth pick isn't sure they take a quarterback, but the Seahawks definitely need a quarterback. And there has been rumors that the Steelers trade up for Malik Willis. So the ninth overall pick, no matter what. I believe we'll be a quarterback and uh, yeah so the rest we need to go into our sets to do so we'll get into that I can do uh, a little bit more of an analysis you know big words I know but uh what are we doing uh, okay I'm going past it it's in the NFL draft category here we go mock draft right here all right so we already have all these done we just got to go to the 10th overall now 10th overall we got the Jets once again, now they took an O-lineman earlier, so now it only makes sense they take a receiver. I think it makes sense to build around Zach Wilson, considering he was your guys' top pick last year. That's just me, all right? There's definitely going to be a top three receiver in the draft left at 10th overall. And if there's not, hey, the Steelers need to take one because I would love the Steelers to take a, uh, like a Chris Olave or Garrett Wilson, a guy like that. <clears throat> but anyway, let's move on. We got pick number 11. Pick number 11, we got the Washington Commanders. Hey, they got Carson Wentz, so I think we can eliminate quarterback. Halfback and tight end. I don't see any running backs getting picked in the first round, so I'm definitely going to pass on that. Um, Receiver, they got Curtis Samuel. They got, who else do they got? I feel like I'm really disrespecting. Oh, Terry McLaurin, how could I forget now, he is having some contract issues, but they're going to give him. They're going to sign him. They better, at least. O-line? They didn't let uh, Sheriff go. They got... I don't think they should... They don't need to pick defense, unless they pick a defensive back. They're not picking an edge rusher or non-edge. Like, any of these guys right here, the Washington front seven is stacked. So, if they pick one of those guys, they're just kind of slow, to be honest. But, for me, I'm going to eliminate it. Or uh, put it down between these three right here. O-lineman, defensive back, or receiver. Now, it's a little tough because if Sauce Gardner is available here, maybe Derek Stingley, you take the defensive back. But I don't, I really don't know. You know, they have good receivers. I'm going to go ahead and say they get a defensive back here. Uh, the Wa Washington's kind of known for having a good defense. That's kind of just how they roll. So defensive back is... The move, in my opinion, here. So, yeah. Next pick. Next pick, we got number 12, Minnesota Vikings. I actually like the Vikings a lot. Uh, quarterback, they got Kirk Cousins. That's definitely not happening. These three are not happening. They already, they're already they stacked on all those. Defensive back? I don't know. I, I kind of just picked defensive back, and I already picked it earlier. So, for the sake of my picks, I'm not going to pick defensive back. But for the sake of actually the chances of them getting a defensive back, I think it's a pretty good chance. So definitely keep that in tune or keep that in mind, whatever you want to say. And here, let me look at the other teams. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and say the Vikings take Jordan Davis because Jordan Davis is a dog, bro. I see He has to be going in the top 20, and I'm thinking he goes at number 12. It just clicked. I have a good feeling he would look good in Vikings colors. Jordan Davis is my pick there. Next pack. or not? I'm so used to opening packs. Next pick. Here we go. The Texans are up again. So earlier we had them picking an O-lineman. So now, I don't know. They do have a receiver. But, okay, they definitely, I guess they could take a quarterback. But, I don't know. There's The quarterback talent isn't that intense. Um... I guess defense would probably be a good one. This is kind of tough, guys. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm not the most reliable source. But 
However, you know, I'm just saying, like, this is just what I'm thinking on, like, on the spot. If your grocery <clears throat> delivery is just okay. Spotify ad, you, you love to see it. But all right, let's, uh, let's make this quick. So 13th overall, the Texans are going to select. I think this is where Derek Stingley goes. I don't think I picked a defensive back twice. <clears throat> I probably have. I don't know. I'm not going to get all these right, but I'm hoping to get at least 13 to 15 of these right, which is a lot. That's, I'm setting the expectations high for me. But I do think I know what I'm doing to a certain extent to get a lot of these right. So number 14, we got the Baltimore Ravens. Now, watching the Baltimore Ravens last year, I am a Steelers fan, so I do watch them twice a year against the Steelers and occasionally other times. They obviously got Lamar. Oh, dude, this isn't even a question, but they need to take a receiver. They just got rid of Sammy Watkins. Um, Marquise Brown is their number one overall, like, as a, a, t a target. I get, they have Mark Andrews, too. But you need another weapon for Lamar. Lamar is a franchise quarterback. Um, he's not the best quarterback. You know, you, you can say he's a running back, whatever. But he definitely is worthy of being a franchise quarterback. And I say he's, he's definitely good enough to build around him. So you go receiver at number 14 if you're the Baltimore Ravens. Number 15. We got the Eagles. Miami traded for the Eagles pick. I can't recognize what this pick is right now. But the Eagles have number 15. Now, the Eagles have Jalen Hurts. They just got Devonta Smith. So, I don't know. I guess they could take another receiver. But I think their offense is good. Now, what are we thinking? The O-line, it's solid. It could be better. But what doesn't impress me about uh, the Eagles is their defense. So I say they go edge rusher. It only makes sense. Uh, I might not be completely accurate with the defensive pick, but I definitely think they go edge rusher or you know non-edge rusher, someone like that. And that's just what I think, bro, all right? If you guys don't agree with me, I don't care, all right? L leave the video. Okay, I'm just kidding, but 16th overall. What do we got? We got the Saints in a trade with the Colts. So the Saints acquired the 16th overall. And the Saints actually have a pick coming up. They have the 19th pick as well. But let's see. So the Saints, they got, they could take a quarterback, but I think Jameis Winston, they did resign him. So Jameis Winston is solid enough. Um, Michael Thomas is coming back. So, okay, defense, you know, they got Kamara as well. He got arrested, but I don't know what's going on with him. You know, the Saints do probably need an O-line. I can't name, because they got rid of Teron Armstead. So, yeah, you know what? I am going to go O-lineman with the Saints with their 16th overall pick. Now, they might wait till 19 because they do have a, a 19 overall pick as well. However, hey, I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. I'm not taking this too seriously. Um, 17th overall, we got the L.A. Chargers, man. On offense... Dude, the Chargers are stacked, but I don't even know what to they I wouldn't be surprised if they trade this pick. Halfback slash tight end. I might pick my first halfback slash tight end. Uh Austin Eckler. I, I'm I'm not doing this because of halfback. I'm doing this because of tight no no. I don't even know any tight ends in the draft this year, bro. I'm sorry, but no tight ends. What am I thinking? How about I don't know, dude. They got Bosa, they got Mac, and they got two they don't need a DB. I'll say that much. So maybe, I don't know, dude. This is tough. I'm going to have to say they go either O-line or non-edge D-lineman. But I don't think there's many non-edge D-linemen besides Jordan Davis. They go in the top picks. And I don't, I don't know about non-edge linebackers either. So personally, I say they go safe. They pick an O-lineman. Yeah, two O-linemen back-to-back. I know. It's crazy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to slow down on the lineman now, but that's, hey, bro. That's just what I'm saying. 18th overall, we got the Eagles. Let's see. The Eagles already picked. I don't know what I said for them. I want to say I said uh, I picked them an edge rusher. So they got an edge rusher, and now it's more likely they take a receiver. I don't know if there's going to be, you know, those three guys that you're looking for at receiver. Actually, no. There's a the USC guy. I'm I'm missing him. What's his name? You know you guys know what I'm talking about. USC. Uh, if you know, you know. Let me know down in the comments what his name is because I'm I kind of feel like I'm disrespecting him right now. 
I'm not trying to disrespect him, all right? But 18th overall, the Eagles, I don't know, man. What, what do you guys think? I'm going to say, dude, you know what? I'm going to just say non-edge linebacker just because I feel like it. So I've, I haven't said this one yet. There may be a non-edge linebacker the Eagles take. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm not doing this with much thought. But 19, the Saints pick again. Now, I said the Saints take, I want to say I said they took like an O-lineman or something like that. But now, I don't know. I feel like I'm, I don't know. I think there's still a defensive back left at number 19. Uh, and yeah, so there we go. Now, we got number 20, my Pittsburgh Steelers, baby. I'm going to have to say, I'm going to make this pretty quick because the video is already pretty long. Receiver, I think we can pick any of these guys. Receiver, defensive back, O-lineman, and uh, quarterback. Now, I'm going to go quarterback, number one, because I've only said quarterback for, uh, wait. You know what? No, I'm going to say quarterback. I think we take Kenny Pickett here, maybe Matt Corral, which isn't the most, like, attractive pick. I'd rather have uh, Malik Willis. But let's say Seattle. I don't know. I just feel like quarterback is the right move here. It's the safest pick in terms of actually getting the pick right because it's very hard. I've already said receiver and defensive back way too many times, and I do want to be accurate as possible. So I'm going to say they take a quarterback, man. All right? That's just what I'm going to say. Not the most, like, accurate results. I'm not uh, Adam Schefter. I'm not Ian Rappaport. But I do watch football a lot. So, I'm, I'm not a casual, but at the same time, I'm low-key a casual, all right? But I definitely am excited for the NFL draft coming up. Let's open this midfield pack, all right? Psych, we're saving it. I'm doing a solo battles and weekend league rewards opening probably Wednesday, maybe even tomorrow. So, hey, stay tuned for that. It's not, it's not going to be anything crazy. But, hey, I appreciate you guys watching the video, man. Make sure... So leave a like if you enjoyed. It's a longer video. So if you guys are if you guys are listening to this right now, all right, I love you. All right, bye. I'm I'm in the video right now.